This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to create, delete, and modify proxy settings in Apple Final Cut Pro. Kurt asks, in Final Cut, can I change the proxy settings in a library while I'm working on it? Like start with one eighth size proxies for rough editing, then switch to quarter proxies so I can see a little better for detail work. <laughs> the answer is yes and no. And well, maybe. <laughs> Let me explain. Yes, you can switch proxy settings at any time inside Final Cut. However, you can only have one proxy per master file. So I can't have a master file and I create a one eighth proxy and a half size proxy and a quarter size proxy. You can only have one. So let's say that I create a whole bunch of eighth sizes for rough cuts just for the sake of discussion. You can then delete all those proxies with a single mouse click and recreate proxies to be quarters. Because otherwise, the situation gets out of hand. You'd have to decide, is it ProRes or H.264? Is it one half, one quarter, one eighth? And suddenly, Final Cut's keeping six different proxies for every clip. The storage is out of control, and you've lost any benefit of using proxies in the first place. So one proxy file per master file. Here, for instance, I have a master clip. The master clip is 1920, 1080. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to switch from optimized original, which is the highest possible quality, to proxy only. Now we're looking at a proxy. How do we know it's a proxy? Well, because if I didn't have a proxy, this would give me an error message, which I'll show you in a second. Another way that we know that proxy exists is to go up to the inspector, go all the way down to the bottom of the info inspector. We can see it's a 1920, 1080 clip. Go all the way to the bottom and notice these two green lights. If the original file exists, it's there with a green light. If a proxy file exists, it's there with a green light. If I delete proxies, so I go up to file, I'll select my project, file, delete generated project files. I'm going to delete proxy media. Click OK. There's the error message when the proxies are missing. Select the clip and notice at the bottom the original exists, but the proxy does not. That's one of the big advantages of using proxy preferred because if the proxy exists, Final Cut will display the proxy. If the proxy doesn't exist, Final Cut will display the camera master or the optimized file. Now you'll notice down here there's no button that says optimized and the reason is this original source image is optimized. Final Cut does not optimize ProRes files, DNX files, uh, GoPro Cineform files, HD Cam files, RED files. All those are high quality edit ready formats. What it does optimize are H.264, HEVC, AVC Cam, AVC HD. All of these, these codecs are in such a compressed form that optimizing it will speed the editing process. To create a proxy, you can either create proxies when you import a file, Command I, and let's just pull this clip in here for a second. And notice down here, I can create proxy media by checking that, determine what codec I want to use and what size it is. So you can create proxies during import, or once the file's been imported, you cannot create proxies in the timeline, but you can create proxies in the browser by selecting the file or files, going up to the file menu, transcode media, create proxy media, select the codec and select the size and click OK. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 313. By the way, 
When you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.